Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Hazra and today we would be discussing the problem root to leaf path. So basically here you are given a binary tree and you need to print all the path from the root to the leaf. So let's discuss the second test case. So we have 10, 20, 30 and here we have 40 and here we have 60. So let's discuss all the path that we have. So the very first path is 10, 20, 40. This is the first path. And then we have 10, 20 and 60. And then we have 10 and 30. So if I want to print all the path, so we need to traverse it. Now for traversing, of course, we would use recursion. So now traversing this and finding out. So see, when do we see that there is a path basically? Let's focus on the thinking process or the intuition of it. See, we started off in the visualization also. We started off from the root and we went down and we went down. We stopped at the position at this node. Why? Because it doesn't have any left or right chain. So here we can say that the definition of a leaf node is no left or right. So now the idea is comparatively simple. We would start from the root and when we arrive at a point which doesn't have any left or right, we know that we have a path. And while we are coming down, like what we can really do is, we would have something like we went to 10, we would keep it. We went to 20, we would keep it. Then we went to 40, we would keep it. And now when we arrive at a condition that this particular node does not have any left and right child, that is it is a leaf node, we would say yes, this is one of the asked path. Now, again, we would start from the root, then we would go here, then we would go here. And when we arrive at a position where we have, we don't, we don't have the left and the right child, that would be our solution. Now, here, what all things we would have? We would have the something known as the rec function. And here we would accept the root from where we would start. And then to save the answer, we have something like this, which would be used as an ultimate answer thing. Okay. And the path, the intermediate path. Okay we would be inserting them as a vector of int because it is asked, that is v. Now, the basic, if the root is null, we would return. So if root is equals to equals to null, we would return from that point. Now, whenever we visit a node, apart from it is null, we would insert that into our current path. So v dot push back the value of that particular node and then we would go towards the left as well as towards the right. So we would say rec is equals to root dash left first let us go to the left side and then vector answer would remain the same v would remain the same and we would do the same thing for the right two that is this. It's done. Now let us just have to return this we need to create a variable that is answer and to store the intermediate path we would create for this which we would provide as a container kind of thing and then we would call the rec function with root and then answer and then the intermediate nodes and then we would return the whole value. Now let us just compile it and see how many errors are we getting. My code is not producing any answer dot pushback. Okay. So now after we push back the value and if we find that it is a leaf node, we would insert that to the path. So we would say if the current root left, it does not have any left child or right child is equals to equals to null as well as root dash right is equals to equals to null then what we would do is we would say answer dot push back the value of v seems correct now let us submit this and see how many errors are we getting 
that's it we were able to solve this problem thank you and have a nice day